move towards the next topic in our list. Lime and nasi and vestibule. Okay, it should not be or, it should be and. Okay. So, what do you understand by the lime and nasi? Lime and nasi is cartilaginous ridge. What it is? It is a cartilaginous ridge. It separates the vestibule the vestibule with the nasal cavity proper. It differentiates between vestibule and nasal cavity proper. So what it is a what is a lemon nasal? It is a cartilaginous ridge which differentiates or which Differentiate between the vestibule and the nasal cavity proper. Okay, so it is formed by first, it is formed by the lower border of upper lateral cartilage or the upper border of lower lateral cartilage okay so uh, we'll move to uh, in this image uh, yeah take this one see this is the upper lateral cartilage this is the lower lateral cartilage and this one is the light nasi okay so um, here this is the lineman nasi Okay, can you see in this image? And this is the nasal cavity proper. And this is the vestibule. So, what do you mean by the vestibule? It is an area below the lineman nasi which contain hair follicles, sebaceous gland, and this hair follicle traps the larger suspended foreign body party, foreign body or particles in the air when we breathe in. It traps the larger foreign bodies when we breathe in. Okay. Vestibule is the only part in the nose which can has a, have for uncle. Vestibule, let us write it down. Vestibule is only part of nose which can have furuncle. What do you mean by furuncle? Furuncle means inflammation of hair follicle. Hence, we can very safely call, call it as nasal vestibulitis, nasal furuncle, nasal vestibulitis. Because furuncle is on, can be only seen in vestibule, Furuncle is inflammation of hair follicle, hence nasal vestibulitis. But we can't say furuncle in external auditory canal as ear vestibulitis. We can mistake, like mistakenly see that yeah, the patient have no ear vestibulitis. It is wrong. It is an emergency condition. It can have uh, that patient will have the severe sensory neural hearing loss. Merely an infection of hair follicle in external auditory canal, you can take it as an sensory neural hearing loss just by using a word vestibulitis in ear. So nasal vestibulitis, furuncle in the nose, furuncle in the vestibule. Ear furuncle is not an ear vestibulitis. Both are different conditions. Okay. So here we have done with the lime and nasi. Now, what is the significance of lime and nasi? So first of all, lime and nasi is a site of incision. Incision for rhinoplasty. What it is? It is a site of incision for rhinoplasty. And also it forms the part of nasal wall. 
What is nasal wall? We are just going to see. Just keep it in mind that it is the significance of lamin nasi. It is a part of nasal wall. So it is a site for a site for the incision in rhinoplasty and a part of nasal wall. Now let us move towards the nasal wall. We have two nasal wall. One is external and one is internal. External nasal wall is present in the nos near the nostril. This one. So this is the external nasal wall. And the narrowest part of the nasal cavity forms the internal nasal wall. This one is the narrowest one and in internal nasal wall. Can you appreciate this line? Like, can you make it? Uh, this is a faint border showing the uh, wait. This is the faint border showing the lower lateral cartilage. Here we have the upper lateral cartilage. So what is this line? It is a lamin nasi. As I, as I have said in the significance, lamin nasi forms the part of nasal wall. Here it is proved. We will see more deeply but just a small idea. Okay. So, what are the boundaries of nasal wall? Boundaries here. This is a medial part and this forms the lateral part. So, immediately we have the nasal septum. See, let us see this cavity from inside. Okay, this is a nostril. This is the lateral wall. This one and this is the septum. So, here we have a narrowest part of the nasal cavity that is the internal wall. So, the medially we have the nasal septum and laterally we have two things. The first one is the the first one is the inferior turbinate and the second one we have as a Lyman nasi and here we have the lateral cartilage. So let us write down the boundaries. So laterally we have first the Lyman nasi and inferior turbinate. Can we say Lyman nasi in other words as the lower border of upper lateral cartilage? Can we? Yes, we can. The lower border of upper lateral cartilage or the upper border of lower lateral cartilage. Right? So, Lyman nasi and inferior turbinate forms the lateral boundaries of nasal wall and medially we have the nasal septum. Okay. So, now what are the functions or significance of the nasal wall? See, when we breathe in, all the air from the nasal cavity goes into lower respiratory tract or the further respiratory tract. But when we exhale, 100% air from the nose is not exhaled. Some part of the air, see, if, if this is one part of nasal valve, when we exhale the air, if this is air coming, Okay, if this is the air coming, it will not go like this. It will come and repel. It will be reflected. It will bend and move towards the upper part. Okay, and it will, it will aerate the structures below, above it. Okay, so this is the air and it is repelled. This repelled air will ventilate the anterior so sorry anterior group of sinuses so when we breathe out 
So when we breathe out, some part is repelled or some part flows backward. Some part flows backward. Okay. This backward flowing part ventilate the anterior group of sinuses. What are the anterior group of sinuses? It is the anterior ethmoid frontal and the third is maxillary. So it is ventilated when we breathe out and the air flows backward. It ventilates anterior ethmoid, frontal sinus and maxillary sinus. Now let us just see what are the posterior group of sinuses. Those are, first is the posterior ethmoid and then is sphenoid. Okay, so uh, tell me one thing, a patient is suffering from rhinitis, okay, and you, refer, uh, you prescribe them to have steam. What will you ask the patient? To inhale, we'll ask, you'll say inhale from nose. So, are you going to ask the patient to exhale from nose or mouth? See, while inhaling, there is no ventilation of sinuses. Ventilation of sinuses occurs only when you exhale the air. So, when, you, when there is a patient of sinusitis, you ask them to take a steam, you will ask them to inhale and exhale both through nose. When they will exhale through nose, the steam will flow backward and it will ventilate the sinuses and reduce its inflammation. So, you will ask the patient to inhale and exhale both through nose in case of sinusitis. Let us write down it and then we will move towards the lining epithelium. In black, uh, we will write it in blue. Okay. In case of sinusitis, we will ask patient to breathe in and out through nose while taking now let us move towards